Hello and welcome to Gus McDowell Strategy and Tactics and thank you to our subscribers. Today we're playing Sonalus Combat Systems Fleet Command, an operational level naval combat simulator. Please remember to like the video and subscribe for more great strategy and tactics content. And if you want to show your support with a donation, the links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. In this campaign, Oil and Water, we look at a series of fictional naval operations undertaken by America and its allies in the Middle East, in the alternate 1990s world of Fleet Command. In this scenario, he's at it again, US forces conduct battle group operations in the Persian Gulf. In August 1990, Saddam Hussein's Iraq invaded the neighbouring country of Kuwait for reasons associated with its oil production and to give Iraq a second port on the Gulf. This led to the First Gulf War and Operation Desert Storm, where a multinational coalition led by United States comprehensively defeated the Iraqi military, forcing their withdrawal from Kuwait. But for reasons of regional stability, the coalition did not advance into Iraq or topple the Hussein regime, instead signing an armistice. This led to fears in Kuwait and other Gulf countries that Hussein's Iraq might try again. In turn, this led to Gulf states pressuring the United States to maintain a long-term military presence in the Gulf. In this scenario, intelligence reports have indicated a massive buildup of ground forces across the border inside Iraq. Worryingly, these forces include multiple armoured divisions of the regime's elite Republican Guard Corps. The past 24 hours has seen an increase in activity at Iraqi airbases. Analysts fear that Iraq is about to invade Kuwait again and may push onto Saudi Arabia. In response, the US has sent a carrier battle group and an amphibious ready group to the Gulf to deter Iraq from taking military action and respond if necessary. If Iraq takes military action, US forces are to gain air superiority over Iraq and Kuwait, secure the waters of the Gulf and conduct airstrikes as directed. However, liaison with Kuwaiti military forces has broken down at the last minute, and the US has no visibility on what forces are available to Kuwait or what they are doing. It has also just been revealed that Iraq has reached an agreement with Iran for overflight rights and limited military support. Iranian F-14 Tomcats have been detected pre-positioning to Iraqi airbases. Iranian forces are to be presumed hostile, and the northern Gulf Coast from the Iraqi border with Kuwait all the way to Bandar Abbas on the Hormuz Strait is presumed hostile. The first task of the carrier battle group is likely to be defensive counter-air, that is, defending the fleet against attacks from Iraqi and Iranian aircraft. Next will be a combination of anti-surface warfare against any Iraqi or Iranian ships that threaten the battle group, as well as anti-submarine warfare against subsurface threats. Along the way, the carrier battle group may need to undertake search and rescue to rescue any downed pilots. Once the defensive counter-air battle is complete, offensive counter-air is next, penetrating Iraqi airspace to clear the area of enemy fighters and identify SAM sites, air bases, and other targets. Then will come the final phase, airstrikes, using air-to-surface missiles and Tomahawk land attack missiles. These strikes will be accompanied by SEAD or suppression of enemy air defense by prowlers conducting electronic attack and DAD or destruction of enemy air defence by air-to-ground missiles or Tomahawk land attack missiles. By the end of the battle, the Iraqi Air Force and its allies will have been destroyed, the Gulf cleared of enemy naval presence, Iraqi air bases and command centres destroyed, and Iraq unable to threaten its neighbours. Kuwait will be secure. Mission Tasking 1. The Carrier Battle Group CVBG, is to prepare the battle space and provide defensive cover for the Amphibious Ready Group ARG, in transit to a station south of the Iraqi coast. 2. Be prepared to conduct strikes against Iraqi targets in defence of Kuwait. 3. Keep aircraft ready for reconnaissance and strike missions. This is the area of operations. It is 1200 hours and the weather is sunny with clear skies. Taking the Gulf clockwise from the bottom. Qatar, the island of Bahrain with the US fleet base, Saudi Arabia on the western coast, Kuwait indicated by the orange crosses, Iraq at the head of the Gulf in the area indicated by the yellow crosses, and Iran to the eastern side of the Gulf.
let's enable unit labels for the introduction. The US has an airbase in Bahrain. It hosts eight P-3 Orions, one already airborne. This is the P-3 Orion. Operated by the United States as a maritime patrol aircraft, the P-3 Orion has a maximum speed of 411 knots, maximum altitude of 28,000 feet, and range of 4,000 nautical miles. Sensors modelled in the game include aircraft visual, surface search radar, aircraft ESM long range, magnetic anomaly detection, passive Sonoboy, and active Sonoboy. The P-3 Orion carries two Mark 46 torpedoes and two Mark 50 torpedoes for use against submarines. In the north of the Gulf is the USS Ross, DDG-71. Operated by the United States as an Ali Burke class guided missile destroyer, she is 460 feet in length with a beam of 57 feet and maximum speed of 32 knots. Sensors include medium frequency active sonar, active intercept, surface ESM, visual, low frequency passive sonar, ship air radar long range, ship surface radar medium range, and fire control radar. She carries 68 standard missile 2 surface to air missiles, 6 Tomahawk anti-shipping missiles, 10 Tomahawk land attack missiles, 8 harpoon missiles, 8 Mark 46 torpedoes, 4 Mark 50 torpedoes, guns, and cannon. She represents a good all-rounder with surface to air warfare, anti-surface warfare, strike, and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The flagship of the carrier battle group is the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CVN-69. Operated by the United States as a Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, she was 1,020 feet in length with a beam of 235 feet and maximum speed of 30 knots. Sensors include surface ESM, visual, ship air radar medium range, ship surface radar medium range, fire control radar and active intercept. She carries 24 enhanced Sea Sparrow missile surface to air missiles and cannon for self defense. The Ike's main weapon is, of course, the Embarked Air Group. This consists of one squadron of 12 F 14 Tomcats, capable of anti surface warfare and anti air warfare missions, two squadrons totaling 24 FA-18 Hornets, capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-air warfare and strike missions, four already airborne, four SH-60F Seahawk helicopters, capable of anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare missions, four EA-6B Prowlers, capable of anti-surface warfare and strike missions, one already airborne, two E-2 Hawkeye, one already airborne, ten S-3 Vikings, capable of anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare missions, and two ES-3 Vikings, electronic warfare aircraft. Two FA-18 Hornets are conducting combat air patrols to the northwest and southeast of the carrier battle group. Operated by the United States as a fighter attack aircraft, the FA-18 Hornet has a maximum speed of 1,080 knots, maximum altitude of 50,000 feet, and range of 1,800 nautical miles. Sensors include aircraft visual, aircraft radar medium range, and aircraft ESM medium range. The Hornets each carry seven AIM-120 AMRAAM air-to-air missiles, four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air missiles, and guns. Also airborne is an EA-6B Prowler.
operated by the United States as an electronic warfare aircraft, the EA-6B Prowler has a maximum speed of 650 knots, maximum altitude of 41,000 feet, and range of 1,100 nautical miles. Sensors include aircraft visual, aircraft radar medium range, aircraft ESM long range, fire control radar jamming, and radar jamming. The Prowler carries four AGM-88 Harm Air to Surface Missiles for destruction of enemy air defences, or DAD. The Prowler's primary role is as an electronic jammer. Maintaining Overwatch is an E-2 Hawkeye. Operated by the United States as an airborne early warning aircraft, the E-2 Hawkeye has a maximum speed of 338 knots, maximum altitude of 37,000 feet, and range of 1,500 nautical miles. Sensors include aircraft visual, aircraft early warning radar long range, and aircraft ESM long range. The Hawkeye is unarmed and vulnerable. Moving now to the Amphibious Ready Group. The key asset is the USS Wasp LHD-1. Operated by the United States as a WASP-class landing helicopter dock, she is 779 feet in length with a beam of 231 feet and maximum speed of 22 knots. Sensors include surface ESM, visual, ship air radar medium range, ship surface radar medium range, fire control radar and high frequency passive sonar. She carries 16 Enhanced Sea Sparrow Missile surface-to-air missiles, 21 Rolling Airframe Missile surface-to-air missiles, and cannon for self-defense. The WASP's air group consists of 22 AV-8B Harrier IIs capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-air warfare, strike missions, two already airborne, Six AH-1W Super Cobra helicopters, also capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-air warfare, and strike missions. And four SH-60 Romeo Seahawk helicopters, capable of anti-submarine warfare, anti-surface warfare, and strike missions. Accompanying is the USS Essex, also a WASP-class LHD with similar characteristics, sensors, weapons, and embarked air group. Third in the amphibious ready group is the USS Frederick LST-1184. Operated by the United States and Australia as a Newport-class landing ship tank, she is 518 feet in length with a beam of 66 feet and a maximum speed of 20 knots. Sensors include visual and ship surface radar medium range. She carries cannon for self-defense, but more importantly, carries the bulk of the amphibious forces and their heavy equipment, around 430 soldiers and 500 tons of vehicles. The LST also has a helicopter deck and two embarked AH-1W Super Cobra helicopters capable of anti-surface warfare, anti-air warfare, and strike missions. Protecting the Amphibious Ready Group are two AV-8B Harrier IIs. Operated by the United States as a fighter attack aircraft, the AV-8B Harrier II has a maximum speed of 562 knots, maximum altitude of 50,000 feet, and range of 610 nautical miles. Sensors include aircraft visual, aircraft radar medium range, and aircraft ESM medium range. The Harriers each carry four AGM-65 Maverick air-to-surface missiles, four AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles, and guns. This gives them a modest air-to-surface and air-to-air -air capability. Last but not least, patrolling under the waters of the Gulf is the USS Seawolf, SSN-21. Operated by the United States as a Seawolf-class nuclear-powered submarine, she is 332 feet in length, with a beam of 59 feet, maximum speed of 35 knots, and maximum depth of 1,473 feet. Sensors include medium frequency active sonar, active intercept, low frequency passive sonar, surface ESM, visual, and ship surface radar short range. She carries 20 Mark 48 ADCAP torpedoes, 16 Tomahawk land attack missiles, 
and 16 Tomahawk anti-shipping missiles. At present, she is lurking on the bottom, listening but not moving, with comms available in 18 minutes. Let's examine the Kuwaiti side. Contacts around Kuwaiti City include a factory, power plant, chemical plant, hospital, SAM site, another SAM site, airport, dual purpose civilian and military, hangars, and warehouses, but no information on their military. Let's examine the Iraqis. Three unknown ground contacts detected from their radar emissions. Let's review the intelligence. Iran-Iraq relations are not improved. However, the situation in the Gulf is such that the armed forces of both nations are considered hostile to the US. Iraq is again attacking Kuwaiti forces and will attack US forces that are positioned to defend Kuwait. Iran resents the US interference in the region and can be expected to react in a hostile manner, especially if there is no immediate benefit to Iraq's military operations. Okay, let's start the scenario. A number of unidentified surface contacts detected. Identify track four, one, two, two, affirmative. The Hornets and Harriers move to identify surface contacts. VID track 4111 will do. The Eisenhower orders two more Hornets to launch. Permission to launch aircraft. Affirmative. And places two Tomcats on alert 5. Four on alert 15. And four on alert 30. We'll go. Wasp puts two Harriers on alert 5 and two on alert 15. Essex reconfigures four Harriers for air-to-air -air warfare roles. Orders two to launch and two to alert five. Permission to launch aircraft. Roger. Can do out. Aircraft are detected taking off from Iraqi airbases. A long day is just beginning. Identify track four, one, three, eight, roger. A Harrier is tasked to intercept an air contact moving south along the Saudi coast. A Hornet repositions further north. Iraqi aircraft appear to be moving towards the US ships. They appear to be moving directly towards USS Ross. We'll do. Roger out. The Prowler starts to jam the first Iraqi aircraft. Two suspect hostile aircraft are within range of SM-2 surface-to-air missiles from the Ross. Another aircraft detected. Four so far. Eisenhower orders a Seahawk to launch. 
track. Four, one, two, two. PID Green and neutral aircraft. Wilco out. Track. Four, one, one, one is hostile surface. Hostilities commence with a missile launch from an Iraqi Wilco, aircraft Roger, towards out. the Hornet. Ironically, it is an American-made Phoenix. The Hornet turns south. Killing track four one four two. Wilco out. Missile away. Track four one four two. Ross engages the offending aircraft with an SM2. The Prowler switches its jamming effort. Emergency racket bearing zero seven eight. The Phoenix Air Air missile is a capable long-range missile, and the Hornet struggles to outrun it. Can do. Roger out. Two hostile surface vessels detected off Bandar Khomeini, Barbara and Alvand. The inbound aircraft is an F-14 Tomcat, probably Iranian operated and working with the Iraqis. No power going into a death spiral. The US Hornet is hit and destroyed by the Phoenix. Slash track four, one, four, two. The Iranian Tomcat is destroyed. The Prowler engages the remaining aircraft. Take track four one three nine. We'll go out. Weapon away. Track four one three nine. Suspect hostile. Ross engages with an SM two surface air missile. All bets are now off. Affirmative out. The second Hornet takes station northwest of Eisenhower. Kuwait has also launched aircraft in response. Five bogies inbound. The target aircraft is being jammed and does not appear to be manoeuvring in response to the SM-2. The aircraft is flying at low altitude. Slash track four, one, three, nine. Hit and destroyed. Another Iranian Tomcat. Another bogey makes five. Affirmative out. The Prowler jams. Taking track four one four seven. Roger out. Missile away. Track four one four seven. Ross engages the next aircraft. Two Hornets launch from Eisenhower. Two Kuwaiti aircraft outbound. Six hostiles now. The SM two misses. Ross re engages. Engaging track four one four seven out. Weapon away. Track four one four seven. The Kuwaitis have launched missiles. Seven hostiles. Iraqi MiG-25 Foxbat destroyed. Credited to the Kuwaitis.
the SM2 misses again. Ross engages the next aircraft. Engaging track four one four nine out. Birds away track four killing track four one four seven. We'll go out. Birds away track four one four seven. And the first. Affirmative out. Affirmative out. Splash an Iraqi Su-24 fencer to the SM-2. An Iranian Tomcat destroyed by a Kuwaiti Hamram. Track 4, 1, 3, 8, identified as neutral air. Splash track 4, 1, 4, 7. And another Iraqi Su-24 fencer to an SM-2. Another Phoenix inbound. Ross engages the enemy aircraft. Taking track four one five nine. Roger out. Burst away track four one five nine. Can do out. Roger. The Phoenix appears to be tracking the Hornet. Roger. It turns away and increases speed. Will do. Affirmative out. The Prowler attempts to jam the missile. Emergency racket bearing two nine two. The Hornet drops chaff. I'm punching out. Send someone to pick me up. No use. The Phoenix destroys the Hornet. Splash track four one five nine. Revenge is swift, and an SM-2 from Ross destroys the Iranian Tomcat. We'll do out. A Kuwaiti missile closes to finish the job. Engaging track four one nine zero. We'll do Roger we'll do out. Birds away track four one nine zero. The Prowler jams the next aircraft. Ross engages. American Tomcats prepare to launch from the deck of the USS Eisenhower. Kuwaiti Hornets launch AMRAM. A Harrier reaches the flight deck of the Essex. Beneath the waves, Sea Wolf fires a Mark 48 ADCAP torpedo. Another AMRAM launch from a Kuwaiti Hornet. Two aircraft shot down. One is a Su-24 Fencer. The other unknown. Affirmative out. The P-3 Orion moves closer to Seawolf to provide anti-submarine warfare support. Roger out. Killing track four one nine eight. Roger out. Burst away. Track four one nine eight. Another SM-2 launch from Ross. The Prowler is jamming the target aircraft. There are a large number of air contacts over Iraqi and Iranian airspace.
more Amaran launches from a Kuwaiti Hornet. Eisenhower's Seahawk prepares to launch. Splash a MiG-25 Foxbat. And another. More launches. Splash a Su-25 Frogfoot. The Kuwaitis are devastating the Iraqi Air Force. Splash track Ross splashes another Iranian Tomcat. One of the aircrew ejects. Engaging track four two. Ross launches. The Prowler jams. The Harrier moves to visually identify an unknown air contact. Splash track four, two, zero, one. Ross splashes a Su-24 Fencer. The pilot ejects, but his chute fails. an inbound Phoenix, heading after the Prowler. Cannot comply. Cannot comply. Cannot comply out. The Phoenix cannot be stopped. Affirmative. Can do, roger out. But runs out of fuel, a lucky escape for the Prowler. Ross launches an SM-2 at the Iranian Tomcat. Take track four two one six affirmative. Weapon away. Track four two one six. And another at an air track heading south. Can do. The Hornets head south away from the air track. Eisenhower orders two Tomcats to launch. Green deck, get those aircraft airborne. We'll go out. A Kuwaiti aircraft is shot down. The skies are very crowded.
Splash another Su-24 Fencer. Credited to the Kuwaitis. The SM2 climbs. Another Frogfoot destroyed. The SM2 misses. Ross re-engages. Kill track 4240. Affirmative. Birds away. Track 4240. A Kuwaiti Hornet shot down. The pilot ejects. but his chute does not open. Another Kuwaiti Hornet launches Amram. Multiple inbound contacts. We'll do. Roger out. The Prowler evades. Roger out. Affirmative. Another Frogfoot kill to the Kuwaitis. Another Phoenix inbound. Will do. A Frogfoot shot down. Taking track four two six one. Will do. Roger out. Missile away. Track four two six one. And a Kuwaiti Hornet. The Prowler climbs to evade, drops chaff. Engine flame out, ejecting from aircraft. Slash track four two four zero. But is shot down. The Tomcat is also shot down. The Prowler's crew eject. Kill track four two five five out. Weapon away. Track four two five five. Another Phoenix inbound. Splash track four two six one. Splash a Su twenty four fencer. Kill track four two six nine. We'll do. Roger out. Track four one four four is neutral air. Birds away. Track four two five five. Ross prosecutes multiple targets. The Phoenix targets the Seahawk. Another Kuwaiti Hornet shot down. And a Hornet launches an AMRAM. The Seahawk does not stand a chance against a Phoenix. Another Iranian Tomcat Phoenix launch. The SM2 splashes an Iranian Tomcat. Slash track four two six nine. And a second. And a frogfoot to the Kuwaitis. With the loss of two Hornets, a Prowler, and a Seahawk, Ross now takes no chances. Anything airborne and not friendly is now a target. Taking track four two seven seven. We'll do. Roger out. Missile away. Track four two seven seven. We'll do out. Engaging track four two nine one. We'll do. Birds away. Track four two nine one. Seven confirmed or suspect hostile aircraft over enemy skies. Killing track four three zero seven. We'll do. Roger out. Weapon away. Track four three zero seven. More Kuwaiti Hornet Amram launches.
Ross splashes a Su-24 fencer. The pilot ejects. Safely. The Tomcats have launched from Eisenhower and the Prowler is ordered to follow. Permission to launch aircraft. Affirmative. The SM-2 misses. Another Kuwaiti Hornet shot down. Everyone is suffering heavy losses today. This is a good time to pause the action for now and come back to the operation in the next episode. In this episode, Iraq prepared to invade Kuwait and Iraqi and Iranian air forces launched air assaults against Kuwaiti and US forces. All sides suffered losses, with the US losing two Hornets, a Prowler and a Seahawk helicopter. In the next episode, US forces continue the defensive counter-air battle to protect US ships and destroy the Iraqi and Iranian air forces. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and donate, and stay tuned for the next episode.